Okay, so for this uh, short lesson, uh, I will be showing you how to we uh, create logs uh, when we are working with our application. Because most of the time when we are dealing with desktop applications, uh, sometimes if we wanted to debug things, well, of course, uh, aside from the debug tools, we might want to provide some, you know, regular outputs to our uh, logs or what we call standard console so that uh, we might want to check if there are any behaviors or undefined behaviors that is happening by simply printing something out. And with this, we could just simply use the log class, okay? And let's now try to consider this uh, simple application that we did here. And once I press convert, no, uh, you would see here uh, the log output that we have created. So what I'm going to do is in my main activity that Java. Okay, what I'm going to do here is to, uh, well, I have associated already this method, which is button click to the button itself and I will just simply uh, use the log class okay and it has this static method that you could use already okay so you have here for example we have log.d and uh, it you can use it as simple as using two strings like uh, custom for the tag, we want a custom application message, okay? And what we have here, of course, is the message itself. Like, uh, you have clicked. Clicked. The button. There you go. And once we are done with that, all we have to do is to run the program and see if it's in the logs, okay? So it's actually running already. It's launching the app. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the button convert, okay? And for us to view the log, all we have to do is go to view tools and you would see here a log cat window okay so here you go so you would see here a custom application message which is the tag and you will have here your message is you have clicked the bottom okay and that is how you could use the log uh, messaging facility.